Hi, I'm with Kurt, and uh, he has uh, some interesting news for us today. We've already adjusted him once. I was too busy this morning to take the shot. I should have, I should have uh, done the first video. So this is actually his second adjustment on the same day. Um, he's been here last week. I gave him a hard time. He came in, and wanted to get two treatments, and then never come back. But he was going to come back, but he wanted to just come in. So, anyways, he did what I said. Went home and uh, regrouped and said, "I'm going to give him three solid days in a row." So this is only his second treatment in the three days in a row. Uh, the reason I told him that, and I tell you guys this too, is that you don't want to just come to me one time because once I adjust you, good things can happen, but also bad things can happen. We don't know sometimes. And bad things, not terrible things, but things that may throw you off a little bit that you don't know. I need to be able to hold your hand through those things. And so he listened to me, came back, and I, I don't know if he had to do this, but he's he's seen some benefit and we want to get this on camera. So Kurt, why, why did you come here originally? Originally came, just lost a hearing on the left side for the past year. How much loss of hearing? Uh, kind of driving down here, I couldn't, if I went like this, couldn't hear the radio at all. On Complete this almost lost, 90% lost. Headphones, couldn't hear the thing on this what side. What about the ENTs, what do they say, how much hearing loss? And you went to the specialist and had it checked, right? Yeah, oh yeah, went to the house clinic, um, they said they got hearing loss, that's the way it is. Any reason, any traumas, tumors, no, that kind of stuff? MRIs were fine, no specific tr head traumas. Just one day woke up, no hearing. Yeah, got left ear. Yeah, just noise in the <coughs> ear and it's gone. And I, I still have a little noise in the ear, but the hearing's there, um, seventy percent <coughs> back, where I can <coughs> plug this ear and I can hear the radio. I can hear people talking. I can hear the headphone. You, you, you're, you're hitting the punchline already. The punchline is that you got your hearing back after yeah. one treatment, right? Yeah. But yeah. the thing is, is that's interesting. Is that he came in and I was about to tell them this is that people come in and they see my videos, you guys all watch these videos, you're gonna watch this one, and there's a certain amount of disbelief that happens when you watch these videos, because it just seems too fat, it just seems too crazy. Why can't other chiropractors do the same thing he does? Did you see a chiropractor for me? About a month ago. About a month ago? Adjusted and he, the neck. he adjusted the neck, right? right. And I thank right. this guy, thank this doctor, whoever adjusted him, thank you for at least trying the neck. I have another patient, 14 chiropractors, only got his neck adjusted one time out of 14 chiropractors in the last two years. So at least this guy did the right thing. So. In that result, he told me even on here, he says, it helped a little bit, but not with the hearing. The other chiropractor. No, no, it didn't do anything. Yeah, I thought you said it helped a little bit. Or no, something no. Neck pain or I, over the past year, I've had the hearing come back a little bit and then go away, but yeah. last So anyways, he went to a chiropractor, got adjusted. Uh, so maybe nothing happened, but he no, went to one. Nothing happened. Really but he adjusted his neck. And so he came here and again, like, he says, what did your wife say? Why this guy? What did, what did you say to her, your wife? Well, I told her I was gonna come, she said, well, why there? Because you're not close to home. I'm not close. You're, yeah. you're four hours away. And I'd been seeing you on YouTube, and what I told her was weird things happen. I've got a weird thing. I need somebody who does weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that's funny, too. <laughs> uh, so, again, I love this channel because the honesty of the channel. You know, I mean, I can't make this stuff up. I just adjust people, I adjust them for balance, and people get better. But. Again, he came in, he has a little bit of a wall up about this because he's, you know, he's been to a chiropractor and he's been to tons of specialists, people who are in the know about ears. And he's, he's a type A, like, searcher, let's get it done. Comes here, he wants to believe, but he's, mm. so anyways, this morning I did a test on him, checked him before and after. How much better was your hearing after I adjusted you initially? I I maybe heard a little bit of a noise out of the ear, but... He like this, he's like, yeah, it's a little better. Nah, no, it isn't. And because he wanted to not believe me. So I'm like, all like, fine. But tell us what happened. So you left here going, hmm, huh? And then you started doing the laps like we tell you to do. We said do some laps. So Third, second lap around, a truck was backing up and it makes the noise, beeping noise. And I could actually hear that noise out of my left ear, in my left ear. I wasn't sure what was happening. So I got in the car, turned on the radio, plugged my good ear. I could hear the radio. Last night, I couldn't hear it at all. If I and the drive down here? Yeah, uh, the drive up down here. I could not hear out of my left ear yeah. at all. So what What do you tell those people who don't believe what you're saying right now? Because they don't believe. He no, brought his hearing back. There's no freaking way. The person yeah. who has hearing that's gone out there, yeah. what do you tell them? How do you tell them that you know it's true? This yeah. did help. You should, you should check it out. Yeah, you should at least check it. it out. At least try, try it. it. Exactly, let's try yeah. it. Good. So 70% better in one adjustment. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm going to let you guys watch the adjustment. Really freaking simple. It's not brain surgery here, guys. It's just a real chiropractic adjustment. I'm not even adjusting your atlas. All you guys are going to be like, oh, C1. Yeah, anybody can do that. I'm not even doing that. We're doing a basic adjustment, okay? So um, anything else you want to add? Thanks. <laughs>
<laughs> Appreciate it. No problem. So uh, go ahead and lay down up here. Did? Sure. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> he's laughing this morning when he had this first adjustment. He's like, oh, that's nothing like I've had before. <laughs> no, it's still nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's still nothing. Yeah. One more side. Good. Nice. So tell them also, what does that feel like? Does that feel painful? Does it feel relaxing? Does it feel tight? Does it, what does it feel like to be adjusted by this, like this? It's intense. It's not painful, but it's intense. Intense. Uh, Compared to the last adjustment you had? The uh, last adjustment really didn't do anything. Gotcha. I don't feel like much. Gotcha. This definitely feels like you're doing something. Good. People like to hear that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, it's, it feels very different. Yeah, it feels very different. Good. Actually, right here, right here. So that's his story up to date. Um, wonderful, I'm so happy for him. Oh, one other thing too. Um, he had lost his hearing only a year ago. So you people out there are trying to discern whether you believe that I do what I do and you wanna keep watching my videos, keep watching them, watch them all you want. Just don't wait two or three years to come in because the longer you wait, what I found is that it's harder to bring people's cranial nerves back. And so uh, he's within a year, I told him, I go, pretty good sign. But if you wait four or five years, not a good sign. So anyways, hopefully you learned from this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Uh, hi, son. Anyways, <laughs> uh, this is Dr. Thayer. I'm with Kurt. Um, Kurt uh, has been, was, a, a, was kind of a pain in the ass in the beginning because he thought, oh, just come down for one or two visits and you do your thing. But uh, we've talked and he's, um, listened and uh, he's reaping the benefits from this and so um, you guys seen his previous video doing better with his hearing um, yes. and that was last week so uh, he's back for another round of treatment he's here for two weeks doing exactly what I told him this time he's seen the benefits and now he wants to get it all done and so we had some good success we've, te we've taught him posture and uh, that has paid dividends he's seen how bad posture relates to hearing and good posture relates to hearing uh, I just told him he's really lucky because he actually sees the benefit but he had a great story. He just went home, drove four hours of Visalia, yeah. um, and then came back this morning, or came back last night. Um, and uh, I'll let him tell the story. So anyways, Kurt, you, this is your 13th visit, 12th or 13th, somewhere in there. Tell us how you're doing right now, you your hearing. A lot better. The last visit when I was here, he adjusted the Atlas. First time? First time he adjusted the Atlas, and... And what like, did we go from to, from, from and to? It was like okay. maybe 30%, came up to 70% after that treatment. And then an hour and a half when I drove home, I was like 95%. I mean, yeah. my hearing was maybe just a little decreased volume, but I could hear. I, I could hear things clearly. And you've been going through a year, right? You were this? This has been a year. Yeah. yeah when, so in the last year, when has your hearing been 95% better? No, it hasn't. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is you guys are all up there probably going, oh, well, he's being generous with his, with his 95%. He ain't, no, because not. he's like this, he's like, every time we come and go, how's your hearing? He's like, I don't know, 40, <laughs> 50. And he's like really on it, because he wants to be, and I'm fine with it, I have no problem with the nitpickiness, but he's being nitpicky when he says 95%. Tell us about the radio when you're driving home. Oh, so when I was driving home, uh, sometimes it's hard to tell if I'm hearing better or not. Uh, but the, it's like the radio was getting louder, and I thought, well, so I'm driving through an area and the radio is more powerful. Um, but it got louder, and then as I got out of the car and I was testing the hearing with headphones and that, yeah, I could hear it, 95%. Yeah. And tell us about this drive home versus last week drive home. Remember last time you said I drove home and all the benefit I got from here was what? Gone. It was, it was not a race completely, but it was, no. a, it was a race, right? I mean, yeah. compared to what 
you had here. Yeah, and then when you talked about proper positioning and uh, my chin up in a good posture, uh, that's how I drove home all four hours. I mean, I had nothing to do but concentrate on that. So I was in a good position all those four hours and I got home. So that 95% stayed all the way through. All the that. way through, which yeah. last time his number one Achilles tendon, his number one problem was when he drove home. Yeah. You said, it was all pretty good when I was here and I dropped yeah. all the way off when I drove home last time. Yeah. This time, it okay. got better. Yeah, got and, better instead. And the thing we changed was one, we adjusted his atlas directly, so I'm not going to say that's not that. But the other one is posture. He maintained good posture because we actually went over specifically the good posture, yeah. and he saw a benefit of that. And so just give us a quick rundown of how it went yesterday. So yesterday you had pretty good hearing. You went to work yesterday? Yesterday I woke up, and usually when I wake up, it's kind of low. When I woke up yesterday, it was like 50%, and that when throughout the day it was 60 or 70. And I was working, and I wasn't really focused on my posture. I was just working. <laughs> but it, it maintained and um, maintained through the night. But then when I got here and unpacked and sat down, and probably that's what my posture was, my hearing just went Ear. When he was on YouTube, he was looking at YouTube, he says, I was watching YouTube, and he got frustrated because his hearing started going down the more he watched YouTube yeah, because I mean, he was looking down. Yeah, I sit at the desk, and I, it was almost like just turning the volume down. It just went yeah. So again, I told him it's wonderful for him to feel this because he feels the exact cause and effect. Posture is dictating his improvement or demise in this situation. So again, wonderful news. I'm glad I caught, caught you up on this. We got one more week with him. We'll get you another video in the future. Um, anything else we want to add? Anything else better or worse saying that we're- No, I'm just, I'm just real thankful. It's great to hear. Very good to hear. <laughs> it's great to hear. It's great to hear you too. Yeah. Let's get you Justin. <laughs> So like he said last time on Wednesday, this is Friday on Wednesday, we adjusted his atlas for the first time. We take our time adjusting the atlas because it's a very powerful adjustment. Uh, he was ready and uh, he had done everything I asked him to do. So we adjusted his atlas and he reaped the benefits. So we're gonna do it again today. Atlas adjustment is different than the other ones I've been doing. I come right off of his mastoid right here, right below his ear and slide right onto his atlas right here, which is just under that big bone. See how I come off and boom, right there. And so you gotta lock in here. Good, good, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Is that, uh, it feels good? What is that for? Intense. It's intense, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How is this different, this adjustment different than the other ones I've been giving you for the last couple weeks? Is it more intense, less intense, more loud, less loud? Less loud, um, I, I had to describe. Okay, well, I'm just wondering if you want. It's a little less intense. A little less intense. The, the, very, the very first ones were, I would say, more intense. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, go. Good. See right off the mastoid here, right under the ear. Good. Nice. That's right up against the atlas right there, right against it. Okay, so um, that's where we're at with him. Doing unbelievable. I think he said, what, when you came in, how bad was your hearing originally? Well, I had no hearing on the left side. Almost no hearing, I would I say. Mean, no, not almost none. None. I couldn't hear anything on the left side. And this has been going on for a it's, year. It's dead. And this guy's seen specialists. This guy's done everything he possibly do to get his hearing back. And in two weeks, his hearing is 95% back at times. Yeah. And we're going to work for it to be all the time. So... Thanks for watching so much so far. I'll see you next time. Hi, Dr. Day here with uh, Kurt, and uh, we are at our last day of our two week, two and a half week, I would say, um, session with him. Um, he's been doing great. Uh, I'm just going to turn it over to him. Um, we've had lots of great results. Uh, the thing that I love about him is that we've seen lots of uh, um, cause and effect happening. So uh, he does something and it causes an improvement or a um, a problem with his hearing. Mm -hmm. And it's so up and down. So he gets to experience the cause and effect of things, which means he learns way faster than most people. And so we've treated him, we've adjusted him, and every time he gets better doing that, but he is noticing when he does things properly and, he doesn't, does, and things he doesn't do properly. So um, let's just turn it over to him and we'll get, show you the last adjustment. Uh, doing wonderful, awesome job so far. Can use more work, but so far so good. Tell us, Kirk, how you doing? I'm doing great. The hearing, I had no hearing on the left side when I came in. Hearing's there. 
40 to 90 percent of the time now. Uh, to about 40 to 90 percent, it's there uh, where it wasn't there when I started out. So it's great. Gotcha. It's great. And so two and a half weeks ago, he had a he had a year path of no hearing. And he went to the ENTs, he went to medical doctors and neurologists and orthos and all the people he knows. He's in the medical field. He has access to this. He already knows how the system works. And so he has pretty access to most people out there because he's in the know. So he doesn't, he, he's not shortchanged on that whole medical thing. Did any of them help you? No. no. They said, get used to it. <laughs> You're lucky your age to be here out of one ear. Yeah. Such yeah. like that, right? Yeah, the good thing was I didn't have a tumor. And, but... <laughs> yeah. There was nothing to It's do. not a tumor. <laughs> yeah, that's all they care about, right? I mean, medicine is great for massive stuff, you know, fractures, tumors, um, huge infections, you know, and those kind of things that, you know, God gave them antibiotics, great for them. So there's some, some things that medicine is absolutely wonderful for. But, you know, this kind of stuff, this is mechanical stuff. And so I'm glad you saw our videos and the videos are out there for you guys to see, just take and glean inf any information that you want off them. But he went out of his way to come down here and he's seen the benefits 40 to 90. Why it's 40 to 90? Because sometimes he does things wrong, sometimes he does things right. And so he sees that. Um, hopefully we've given enough ammo. Tell us about the stuff we've taught you about how that changes your perception of how things work. Uh, shoulders down, chin up makes a big difference. When I sleep at night, if I'm not in a good position, my hearing goes way down in the morning. During the day is a good posture, positioning, the hearing comes back up. So, so what does that mean? Posture matters, maybe? Yeah. 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 Posture matters. Yeah. And 40, 50 years of bad posture, not good. Not going to win out of two and a half weeks of treatment, right? Yeah. So uh, anything else you want to answer? I mean, um, I guess the last thing I have to say is how much, how much have I taught you to do for yourself here? He wants more oh, information. How much yeah. have I taught for yourself in two and a half weeks? Oh, a lot. I mean, I and I, but I, I see the importance of the posturing and the and the positioning uh, where it makes a difference. Where I, I wouldn't have thought it would make that big. Of a difference. Yeah, good. So uh, lots of good stuff here. We send him back with a lot of good stuff about how to do things differently at work, how to do things different in his life, how to sleep different, how to walk different, mm -hmm. how computer, to be on a computer, computer different. Computer different. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we uh, we've addressed all those issues, and so we've given him specifics. We got pictures. We have lots of things for him to go back with. I am happy for him. Again. Lots of good stuff. He's, I instructed him to go see another chiropractor to try to see if he can actually uh, get that chiropractor to adjust his neck like he does me. Again, I want him to continue to see chiropractic. He's always welcome to come back here like we always say to all you guys, but please go see somebody. I'm willing to help however I can. Anything else? Thanks for helping me here. No problem. <laughs> very cool to hear. Yes, it's very cool here. Let's get adjusted. Uh, let's go ahead and lay that face up here, please. I guess one last thing is, what do you tell the people who um, don't believe you for saying that I brought your hearing back? You only came for hearing, no pain, right? Oh, no, I didn't have pain. And it was only just the videos I saw where things were happening that I wouldn't expect should happen. And um, But when, yeah. when somebody goes, he's just a paid actor. He... Oh, or, yeah. Or the physician I work with said, hey, you know, if you go to a doctor, you see a chiropractor, you walk into a bar, your type of hearing loss could come back at any time. But it only came back, it came back 20 minutes after the first, very first adjustment to 70%. So it's, yeah. that's the only time it came back. <laughs> good, good. Anyways, I, I hope to help a lot of you guys out there. If anybody has in, in for, um, um, questions about hearing, please give me a call. You know, email me. Um, he's a perfect example of how this works. So let's get you adjusted. So Justin's Atlas directly on. Um, again, uh, right off the mastoid here, here's his ear, mastoid process right onto the lateral mass of the first bone right here, C1. Okay. 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 Good, nice. And after, uh, what, 18, 20 adjustments? Are you used to that yet? Uh, I don't know if I'm used to this. <laughs> Again, Atlas on this side, guys. Uh, ear, mastoid, right off. And you feel like see my finger drop right off, right into that little hole right there. Right there, and that's his Atlas. Okay. So I take my hand, I'm gonna go right into that hole right here. Good. Okay. And then it's gotta get him to relax a little bit. Good, nice. Good. What do you feel in those uh, adjustments? Do they feel painful at all? 
I wouldn't say painful. I just always use the word intense. intense. It's just gotcha. Seems like a lot of force. <laughs> it is a lot of force because what we're trying to do is we're trying to move bones back to where they belong. Okay. And so uh, we don't want to do that passively. We want to be active with that. Okay. Good. How did it move on the left side? Sorry? How did it move on the left side? It moved great this time. It did? Okay. Yeah. This right. morning didn't move very well, guys. As always, you know, both sides went pretty good. It was a little, actually, a little bit uh, squishy, so it was a little inflammation in there, but it moved really well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was going to say, I could tell. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make high pitch sound, it made a low pitch sound. That means a little inflammation in there, so it's just a little tight. Okay. okay go ahead and walk real quick. Let's finish out here. So, since this is a hearing uh, video, we're gonna, it's, I think it's appropriate to do the last thing with the tuning fork. We'll just see how it hears, okay? okay. It's, I, I hear, but it's louder on, the, on my right. Okay, so what are we at? 70%, 80%, 60% on the left? About 60. 60, yeah. Okay, and it changes with posture. Yeah. Good. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if we do see him again, we'll get a follow-up video in the future, but thank you so much. Thank you. Have a safe trip back. Thank you. See you guys.